I am so sick and tired of always hearing about the same Pixar movies every gosh darn day. If it's not Toy Story, it's turning red. If it's not turning red, it's Cars 2. Just kidding, Cars 2 sucks. But point is, whenever people talk about amazing kids or family animated movies that are enjoyable for adults too, it almost always ends up being a Pixar movie like 9 out of 10 times. And that's fine, they do definitely make good movies, but the true, genuine movies are always forgotten. And that's what happened with Brother Brother Bear. But if you didn't have any parents and never seen Brother Bear, let me go ahead and fill you in so you can be a part of the fan club here. Before we get started, if you could go ahead and subscribe and like the video, that'd be awesome. Mean the world to me. I make content on anime, manga, TV shows, video games, literally everything I want. So just go ahead and join me for the ride. For those that didn't have a good childhood and don't know what Brother Bear is, let me go ahead and fill you in. Brother Bear is a 2003 animated family movie produced by Disney. It takes place in like a prehistoric era with cavemen and stuff and follows the story of Kenai, a Native American boy who after losing his brother to a bear attack, kills then said bear and is then turned into a bear. Kenai must learn to live as a bear and understand the world from a different perspective. Along the way, he meets other animal characters and tries to become basically a man by also becoming a bear. The movie is about family, friendship, and the importance of understanding and the respect for the natural world. The movie also touches on the idea of losing someone, death, remembrance, all these just really heavy topics, which obviously resonated with me pretty well, that's why I'm making this video now. Another reason I'm making this video is because no one talks about this movie or its amazing phenomenal sequel, Brother Bear 2, surprising name there, I know, and upon checking the Rotten Tomato score for this movie, my feelings towards humanity have honestly not changed. 37%? on the critic score why are these people critics they obviously don't have good taste let's switch this the audience should be the new default score i don't know why critics get all this you know praise when they're obviously the ones with bad opinions and they also had the nerve to say generic plot what other generic movie involves a man seeking revenge on an animal to then kill that animal to then turn into that exact animal and adopt an orphan bear Wait, what? What's the other movie that has this? Legally Bond 3? What, what's the other movie that has this same plot? Please. So one of the best things about Brother Bear, honestly, is the whole idea that it's basically tackling toxic masculinity. See, when we first meet Kenai, he's presented with a totem to guide him in his life that's basically the symbol of a bear with love basically and when he initially sees this he laughs it off and treats it as actually being kind of girly however when a bear attacks and kills his brother and kenai decides to go eye for an eye and then kill the bear he is then turned into a bear by the spirit of his brother and he's forced to learn to love nature and other bears he meets along the way namely plot twist the baby bear to the mother he just killed being Koda. So Kina has to learn to love Koda and begins to take on kind of a big brother role with him. And honestly, this movie walked so up could run. We see Kina grieve over the loss of his brother, but also have to take on being a parent for Koda since he killed his mom. And it's kind of very similar to like the plot of Up, obviously not that similar, but it's similar in a way where we get really intense loss super early on. And then we have to kind of deal with that character's emotions and, you know, growing from that afterwards. I think it's safe to say that Up really wishes it could be Brother Bear, but whatever. Also, this movie is really short it's a little over an hour so they don't exactly have a lot of time to set a lot of this stuff up which kind of sucks but man the animation and colors are just super well done here i love how we see so many different environments and settings throughout this movie it makes it really just kind of wow every time the color palette you know changes to bright oranges or you know dull blues and grays it's just really lovely kind of seeing so much color in a film of this level obviously it's a shorter kind of maybe not as popular high budget movie so just kind of seeing it here is it, it's nice i like it and also the movie has a great soundtrack that is super fitting i love the soundtrack for this movie actually so for me the lessons learned in this movie were very strong as a kid and honestly still are kind of strong now i hadn't noticed it when i was a kid but this movie really attempts to break down this idea of what being a man is all about we literally see Key and I try to justify that being a man is about strength or it's about getting revenge to those that did you wrong, but instead he solves his problems with how he feels with love. He chooses to love Koda and remain a bear to take care of him, and from that he chooses to be a man basically. These are pretty crazy concepts that for sure went over my head as a young kid, but certain people becoming popular now, it's kind of more apparent these toxic masculinity traits, so I just think it's kind of interesting. I also love how just like a coming of age story, there's no villain here, there's no bad guy, there's no major threat in our characters' faces or anything like that. There's not even a time frame of like, we have to do this before, like it's literally just a super simple movie, Kenai turns into a bear, 
and begins his journey. It really does just do its thing and keeps it moving. And sure, there's issues like the fact that Koda just forgives Kinai so easily without them really disagreeing. He basically just gets sad and then just sends a text saying, never mind, we're chill, we're cool. And at the end of the movie, Kinai is also given the chance to turn back into a human, but chooses to stay a bear to watch over Koda. But Koda is an animal, so honestly, Kinai probably could have just kept his human life with his brother and maybe just kept Koda like a, as a pet or something like that there's really no need for him to abandon his entire family and human life and tribe and everything to just hang out with Koda as bears he could have hung out with him as a person despite all that brother bear is still better than Wolf of Wall Street uh, if you guys have any siblings please show them this movie if you watched this movie as a kid let me know how good your childhood was if you didn't watch this movie as a kid comment how much your childhood sucked and uh, thank you guys for watching to the end I really do appreciate it and have a good one